Hello everybody, and welcome to Cozy Grove. Yes, I've been trying to find something chill out there. Uh, just, you know, to take my mind off things, whatnot. I want, I want to keep it going with the indie train, if you will. And a, a lot of people have been talking about this, how it's very similar between Spirit Bear and Animal Crossing. And it's... It, that just sounds absolutely beautiful to me. I mean, I, I love both those games. Welcome to Spirit Scouts. Before you head out on your first solo camping trip, fix yourself up. And I think I... Hold on. I might have to turn the sound effects down because that's that's quite loud. Uh, es es escape? I, I can't do anything. Oh well, I'll, I'll just do it when I can. Uh, boop. When a spirit scout comes of age, they start to become more than the labels they've been... They've lived within... Uh, okay, well. Oh, boop. What about my eyes? I like the blue. Ooh, that's pretty. I'll do the blue. A spirit scout's eyes are a peculiarly unnatural pale shade they see beyond. Oh, they're already trying to set us up with the story. I see, I see. okay. Ooh, immediately drawn to that hair. What about this? Oh, well, I can't see with the frickin' hat on, bro. Uh, I'm just... I'll just go with that. That looks a little more my style. Everyone thinks you are cool, black hair. Uh, I'm Brunette, though. Oh, Looking good. Now it's time to begin your camping trip. You open the letter you carried from the rowboat. It says, Dear Spirit Scout, Welcome to the island of Cozy Grove. Utilities and other public services are not available on the island, so please check your provisions. Rangers from the mainland rarely visit the island. You will need to be self-sufficient. Note that previous campers have reported run-ins with bears in the area, so use caution. Have fun and keep yourself, uh, keep your fire burning. Don't, don't light yourself on fire. Uh, keep your fire burning. <laughs> Scout services. Also, there's a poo bucket. Enjoy. Uh, all those who are lost deserve kindness. I see. So, regular controls? Okay. Where am I going? What am I doing? There's a... F How is this fire still going? Oh, uh, that little fire doesn't look too good. <laughs> calf, calf, calf. How old are those starter logs, Scout? Tasty. Tastes like a century, at least. So where have you brought us this time? So where have you brought us this time? A haunted, bear-infested island. Some place called Cozy Grove. I'm a little disoriented. Not quite sure. Cozy Grove, I know the name. I've licked it off old brochures tossed into my embers. I sense dozens of wounded, relent, restless spirits here, desperate for help, but not conscious of it. This doesn't seem like the sort of place young spirit scouts typically go for their first solitary excursion. But, well, if you were sent here, the scouts must have seemed confident you'd be up to the task. Are you ready to see what's out there beyond my firelight? Uh, I need to lower my chair. And I don't know why I gave the fire that voice. He's an old man fire, I guess. Are you ready to see what's out there? Ah, uh, very ready. I think so. What if I say no? I'm very ready. That's the spirit. I see the ghost of a ranger at the edge of the woods. She's been waiting there for a long, long time. Don't be scared, Scout. Go introduce yourself. After all, you're here to help. You're damn right, that's my job. I'm here to help. Oh, and yes, we're, we're spreading colors. I like that. Uh, there was another... Not not Grease. Uh, There's something else that... With the game mechanics of spreading color. It was... Ah, uh, man. I'm not going to be able to think that far back. What am I thinking? Wop, 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 wop. Dude, this game looks absolutely adorable. Hello. Uh, click to... Hey, hey. Click to talk to fellow campers. Where? Oh, Jesus. That was some kind of spiritual Kamehameha. Huh. Another imaginary camper. Must have brewed by... Brewed my Lady Grey a little strong this morning. Unless... Uh, say you're not a real living person, are you? Yes, I am! Well, I haven't heard news this exciting since the baby warblers hatched. 
Welcome to Camp Cozy Grove. I'm Charlotte, your local ranger. Also, a ghost. If you run into any problems, I'm your bear. Say, that uniform of yours, it looks familiar. Oh my, you're a spirit scout. That does change the forecast a bit. Puts the sun behind the clouds, so to speak. That's right, 100% bona fide scout is that a problem. Uh, but I'm trained to fix... But I'm trained to fix all your ghostly woes. Uh, what do you have against... No, they don't have... No, I don't think they're against. Okay, well, maybe, maybe... Uh, I'll do the middle. Yep, that sounds like classic spirit scout propaganda. You're not the first spirit scout to visit this island. Many years ago, another ambitious youngster summoned a fire here in hopes of earning her final merit badge. What happened there? Uh, no, I don't want to skip story. What, what, what are we doing? Oh, we click it. Okay. It did not go as planned. No use dwelling on the past, though, is there? You're here now. Friend, she's not. Oh, sorry. I, I got the... I mixed the D's up. For, and it totally ruined it. Uh, if you're planning to stay the night, remember the first rule of wilderness survival is keep warm. Somewhere around here is a wood log. Find it and toss it on the fire. That should make things a little cozier for both of us. I'll do my best. I dropped... Hey, what? Oh, uh, well, careful. Uh, well, it's disappearing. Okay, well, you know what? Oh, God. Oh, yes, totally, dude. I can run. Uh, gotcha. And boop. What would you like to do? Here's a log for you. Foom. This is Spirit Wood. Where did you get this? My ghost told me about it. I was just uh, blah, 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 from a bear in a ranger suit. The bear in the ranger suit, I see. Well, first of all, thank you. It's delicious. But the presence of spirit wood confirms my suspicions. The haunting of Cozy Grove runs deep. There are many lost souls here in need of your help. They can't rest until someone has helped them come to terms with their past lives. They may not even remember who they are or how they died. If any, if if enough time has elapsed since they passed away, ah. The spirit wood has fully caught fire now. My light is expanding. More of the island is waking. Lost places are being remembered. I see. Someone new. A crafter of useful things. Poof! Back to little Grandpa Flame. Say, that's a nice fire you have going. Still a bit small, though, huh? See if you can find more spirit wood out there. A little warmth would do this island good. A healthy fire is sure to call some distant campers home. I see, I see. Story advanced. And I'm assuming once... Okay, well then, Jesus. I'm assuming once the hearts are fully out there, they can feel comfortable enough to pass on. Yo, don't touch those. These are my coins. Sorry. Sorry. Things that pop out. I just, they're mine, they're collectibles, I like to collect things, I'm a collector, obviously, I spend stupid amounts of money on things that I totally should not. Uh, please, yeah, I'm stuck, okay, there we go. What is over here? Another bear. And who are you? Kamehameha! Uh, what are you wearing? A germy gruffle. Oh, I guess you can see me. I'm so sorry. I figured I'd be invisible. Apology accepted. You're sorry? For what? For haunting a perfectly good island. The last thing I want is to drift around the afterlife, glowing blue, getting in the way of upstanding folk like yourself. It's unseemly. Until I found out why... Until I find out why I'm stuck here, I'm afraid I'll be haunting us both. Maybe I can make it up to you, uh, maker buddy? Not to brag, but I'm pretty handy as ghosts go. Bring me three branches, okay? Uh, I promise I'll make it worth your while. Three branches? Where the hell am I gonna find three branches in all these treed areas? Uh, but no, literally, how do, how do I get... 
these branches. Show me the ways. Can I knock a tree down? Can I... Oh, I, I can just literally click my way to go somewhere. Um, but I'm kind of... I just got done playing Valheim. Yes, so I'm going to use Valheim controls. Uh, yo, g -paw. Do you know where to find any sticks around here? How do I find a damn stick? I thought they would just be, like, laying around. Whoa, hey, what was that? Was that a coin? Uh, maybe I lost it by an old din dingy barrel. So I need to find a barrel. There's a kite. I oh, stick! Stick! You're mine, stick! Gotcha! So I was right. They are just laying around. Is, is it going to make us hunt for these sticks? Um, but yes, oh, also, also, I forgot to mention, this uses real-time, uh, basically, stuff that you need to do. Uh, it's going to be placed in real-time, like Animal Crossing. So that might heavily deter some people. But, uh, I think the game is more focused on... You received... No, of course I did. Of course I did. Um, the game's going to be more focused on you playing in little, you know, snack-sized bites. And that is A-OK. -okay. It encourages you to do simple tasks and just focus on you. Do you. Boo-boo. Got three sticks. So it's just going to give you these little simple tasks. And then by the time you finish everything up, you know, you, you can't really do anything else until the next day. Which is fine, you know. There's tons of games out there to play. So you just add this to your daily repertoire. Look at these sticks. What beauties. <laughs> A twist here, I uh, scoop there, and voila, your first shovel. Not my finest work, my paws kept slipping through the lathe. Uh, but if you want to dig up the soft dirt mounds around the island, that shovel will do the trick. See, spirits, I've helped this poor scout. My haunting is complete. Uh, I'm still here, aren't I? Darn it, darn it. One flimsy shovel isn't going to do it, is it? Of course not. Well, uh, don't worry. I'm full of ideas for tools. I'll give you all the help you need to stay cozy in our grove. Hope that shovel works out. Oh, and I have a spirit log too. What the hell are these things? What are these? Stay away from my friend. Unless you're good. I, I don't know what the hell just happened. Did... Hey, hey! Who are you? They look creepy. Um, well, okay, now they look adorable. They're all dancing. Never mind, I take it back. You guys can stay. You're adorable. <laughs> Alright, you guys chill here. And I, buddy, I got another one for... What is... Oh, Dirt Mound. Let's dig it up. See what we get. Carrot? Radish? Turnip? Parsnip. Sweet if left in the ground till after the frost. First frost. What about the eighth frost? <laughs> uh, hold my hand. Uh, here's a log for you. Well done, my light is expanding again. I now see an old friend. Mr. Kit has noticed our beacon and set up his canteen shop. Huh. He looks quite at home here. But wait, there's more. I see a stranger and salty figure standing on the shore. And as he has arrived, something else has vanished. Something important. Oh dear. Best go see for yourself. Poof. Ah, he's adorable. The fire seems brighter. You are now Scout Rank 3. You have earned a new badge. Tutorial complete her. Was that all the two? Oh, don't burn yourself. Uh, can I set my tent up real quick? Or, I guess, of course, it's not going to let me do that in the dead of night. Of course, of course. You sit down by the the beach area. Oh, uh, usually it shows me where to go. Yes, there it is right there. The things that confuse me are, like, the little objects that look solid. Like, you think you'd run into them, and you just kind of phase through it. But then some other objects, you can't go through like those rocks hmm, hmm very peculiar indeed hello other bear 
Whoa! Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Captain Billworth Snout. In life, I was a barrow of the sea. Ash. <laughs> Uh, I, I, what kind of voice do I give you? Well, you, I guess I could just do the same I was doing. I sped from Cozy Grove to the main and back again. A hundred times over. Unnatural sum said for a bear to fly and twist the waves as I did. But did I listen? No, I did not. Well, maybe because you're not a bear. You look more like a bird. This is very cute, though. I would like a bunch of these and put them on my wall like little posters. And now, I'm transformed. A vast young person, how long have you been standing there? You caught me reciting my origins. I am Captain Billsworth Snout. Don't some now call me the Seagull Bear. Pleased to meet you, Bill Weather. Uh, Bill Weather? Uh... Oh yes, Bill Weather. For some reason, I, I thought it was Bill Worth for a second, even though I just read it. Uh, so are you Bear or Seagull? Ahoy, Captain! Ahoy, indeed! Tis a strange thing to see to be a Seagull Bear. My two halves have precious little in common. Except, of course, for our love of fish. Speaking of, are ye hungry, young sailor? Fetch me a fishing rod and I'll show ye what's on the meat. Uh, yeah, where do I find this? Ah, uh, ocean... Book. The book has nothing in it. Buy it from Mr. Kit's store. Gotcha. Okay, boop. We're outie. We outie here. I'll be back, uh, Mr. B uh, Bill... Bill Weather. Captain... Captain Bill Weather. Oh my god! Cut out. I, I need... Dude, the freaking pole's in the way. Can I destroy this pole somehow? I know you can start, like, not maybe terraforming, but, like, you can decorate your island and things like that. Hmm, hmm. There's a lot of glowy things around, and when I see something glowing on the ground, I want to pick it up. Whoa! Whoa, my god, you are adorable. Why, hello there, prospective chopper. I must confess, when I followed your fire, I never expected to end up here again. The island's fallen into quite a state since my last visit. But how rude of me, I haven't properly introduced myself. You may call me Mr. Kit. I know your name, of course, but I am far too polite to repeat it. I have a standing agreement with the Spirit Scouts, you know. Wherever you go, Kit's Canteen shall be there for all your buying and selling needs. The only catch, I set the prices. How can I help you today? I want to buy something, please. Take a look at all the shiny new stuff. Uh, all the, do you have one thing? What are you talking about? Uh, buy for 20 old coins. One time I caught a fish and it was this big. Throw a bobber into water in front of fish. Bring this to Captain Bill Weather Snout. Buy for 20 old coins. Own zero. Uh, do, well, wait. Do they break? Are they going to break? Common tool fish. I, I guess they're going to break. Huh. I can part with this ocean fishing rod for 20 old coins. How's that sound? Sounds great. Take my money. Well, I guess we had just enough. Dude, what are these little spirits? They're so adorable. A little on the creepy side, but adorable nonetheless. Whoosh, whoosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. You need something. What's up? Uh, what would you like to do? Uh, can I help you with something? Uh, sometimes you can find things on this island simply by exploring with a keen eye. But other times, you need to get your hands dirty. Have you noticed those leaf piles laying around? Try digging through those, and when you come across them, you'll be surprised at what you find. Uh, just the other day, I thought I saw an old book peeking out of the leaves. Which ones? Show me the book. Where is the book? I don't see leaf piles either, so... Are you talking about this one? Poof, poof. Uh, logs. Whoa! Uh, I guess we're gonna have to go through all of them. It's a little difficult to find them, though. Since everything's kind of like the same color. Until we 
get more color spread out. But yeah, so far I am super into this game. This is so adorable. Uh, fishing rod. Double click your fishing rod to equip. I just did. Click, 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 click. Bro. You know what? I'm hey, sailor, what will he do? That will do nicely. Well, what are you waiting for? If you want to find us a proper meal, you're going to have to pluck it from the deep yourself. Take that frog and catch us a whopper. Candy? You can't eat whoppers, you silly goose. Or bear gull. Seagull. Bear. Bear seagull. Perfect. Fish right here. Bro. 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 It's in hand. Right? Yes, it's... No! Drag back on the fishing rod icon above your head and release the cast. Gotcha. Hiya! Okay, well, you know, I'm gonna pull that back real quick. Whoop. There we go. Right in front of the fish. Whoa! Perfect. Got my first fish. What is this? Collapsed lungfish? Oh, Jesus. That looks sad. Whoop. That is totally the wrong way. Uh, do I have to do it in the opposite direction of what I think it's going to be? Yes, I guess I do. Okay, well, that's how this is going to happen. Uh, so we're, this is going to really mess with me. Whoa, Brent. Dumb fish. Why you do that? Pull it back. What, I, I need more fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, yes. Go for it. Go for it. Do it. I played Animal Crossing. I've been playing Animal Crossing since I was a child. I know how to do this. Can you just go for the damn bait? Boom, you're in trouble. Oh. Oh, another. Okay, well. Uh, sorry, Captain. <laughs> no big whoppers today. We got some collapsed lungfish. Uh. Oh, boop. I see you've already been testing out your rod. Well, either way, give me the one you've got, or catch a new one. I'll be waiting. Any fish? Captain Bill Weathers' snout needs any fish. Oh, bro, I have a fish for you. Hey, take the fish. I a fine fin you've managed to dredge up there good eating. I think ye and I will have plenty of time for fishing. Now that your boat's washed out to sea... My boat did what? Oh yes, a loose knot in a fickle tide was all it took to send your vessel on its way, merry way back to Neptune's bosom. Bosom. Don't blame yourself. This island's a maelstrom of ill fortunes churned out by our wretched tales of ghostly woe. Until we spirits find a measure of peace, none may leave this place. Okay, well that's a... Uh, Oh, God. So, young sailor, though you're a living scout and I'm a ghost, we have something in common. We're both stranded here on Cozy Grove. Whatever plans ye had of solving all our ghostly problems in a single evening, put them out of your mind. We bears aren't your overnight project anymore. We're your neighbors, Squawk. Well, aren't you kind? Thanks for the log. But that's okay. I didn't plan on leaving anyways. This is my home now. I'm taking over. You can call me Nook. And I'm going to start charging you rent for just being here. Oh, I could be running. Why am I not running? Because I'm dumb. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, okay. I think these are my favorites so far. They're the most adorable for me. Even though I called them creepy. I just wasn't, I wasn't sure if they were bad guys or something. You know what I mean? Boop, boop. Oh, don't, don't. Whoa, whoa. Here's a log for you. Put stuff in storage. Force space is free. What? Check out clothing collection. Ooh, I can get other clothes? Upgrade my tent. How do I upgrade my tent? Feeling cramped? I can upgrade your tent with eight additional storage slots for 5,000 old coins. It goes directly to the Scouting National Committee. I don't see a cent. Sounds great. Here you go. I don't, I don't have that, but I want to see what he says. You can't afford that. Oh, simple. 
Well then, uh, what else do you have? Nothing. I want to burn something. Uh, that doesn't sound too good. So how about we just do this? Delicious. That's strange. I'm still hungry. I think one more spirit log should do it. So I sent at least two logs out there. Maybe close by far. I need another spirit log. Uh, hey, can you point me in the direction of what I need to do? Oh, damn, dude, you are so cute. This game is just oozing adorableness. And I'm stuck again. There we go. I'm gonna have to get used to these things. Okay, yeah, I gotta say, they're also really damn adorable. They're... No, the, the first ones are still my favorite. Fishing, fish, what, I... He's talking about these logs. Uh, I got this. Never mind, I don't. Okay, everybody. So, um, I th maybe I have to cook the fish for the bird bear. The bird bear. Hold the hand. Hold up. Damn, nope, nope. Come here. Come here. Uh, I want to burn something. Burn. Flaps lungfish. Charred fish bone. Okay, maybe not. Sounds great. Here you go. That's a, that's a little much, dude. But uh, oh, well. well, what can I cook this into? I want to burn something else. What is it? sweet potato? Six roasted root vegetables. Sounds great. Well, that looks like we've just disintegrated it. But anyways, um, I can't seek out unless he means, like, go fishing or something else. I've also, in this time, cause since I skipped, um, I've been trying to find everything I possibly can. Because you see, there, there was two little eyes hiding in that pile. I've been trying to find all these little leaf piles for that book she was talking about. I cannot find a damn thing. It's gonna take me a while to, I guess, get adjusted to uh, finding what I need to do. It's not that it's like any particular difficulty, it's just a game you take at your own pace and that's completely fine. Uh, for me, it's like, who are you talking about when, in, when you're saying troubled seafarer? Because obviously we've already talked to him. And I, I don't... He, he just keeps going off on his random stuff. Seems occupied. Try coming back tomorrow. Oh, wait a minute. What about that fish bone? Cold. Yeah, well. Guess we're just gonna have to wait till tomorrow. And so I'm just gonna keep at it. I think I'm gonna do a little bit more studying on maybe what I am supposed to be doing because I'm a little confused on what they mean. So if I'm just unable to progress because he's tired, then I suppose uh, there's not really much I can do. So with that, I, wait a minute, there's something going on down here. Yeah, these, what's up with these? Achievements, collect 100 gold, co whoa, old coins. I'm gonna say gold coin by accident a lot probably, so. Old gold coin doesn't, I guess it doesn't really matter. Log burner! I guess this is how I get my patches in. Complete the introductory tutorial. Oh, so I, I guess, never mind. I totally thought I was still in the tutorial and I was gonna like big time hate on myself for being too dumb. What else we got here? Uh, dudes, can't get those. A little bit on this. Yes, yes, yes. Got that one. Well then, so I think that is all we have the time for now. Until we check back in tomorrow, and I think this might be kind of a bit of a pain because I, I tend to make my videos later at night. But yes, this is freaking adorable. I love it to death. And with that, I thank y'all so much for watching. Hope you had a great day or night. 